Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we're gonna walk through how to set up a live connection to analysis services. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, AS Live Connections, how do we actually set this up and what are some things that you need to consider when going this approach? We're gonna walk through all of that, but enough of all this talking, let's head over to my computer and see what this looks like. We are in Power BI Desktop and the first thing that we wanna do is go get some data. So we're gonna choose analysis services here. This is actually SQL Server Analysis Services. You wanna use this option for on-premises servers or if your server happens to be in, in like an Azure VM or VM somewhere else, it's gonna be the same. It's treated as on-premises. If you're using Azure Analysis Services, you wanna come down to more and we'll type in Azure and you will see Azure Analysis Services database listed. That's what you wanna pick if you're using Azure Analysis Services. If you're using on-premises, you want to use SQL Server Analysis Services. I'll come back to why you need to pick one versus the other in a little bit, but for now, let's cancel out of that. We'll go back to get data and analysis services. So this is the on-premises SQL Server Analysis Services connector. We need to put in our server name. Once I have the server name, I can leave the database blank, or if I know what it is, I can type that in. Leaving it blank will bring up the selection dialog for picking which database that you want. The important item here that we need to make sure we select upfront is connect live. And so you can choose either import or connect live. I don't recommend choosing import in general for analysis services because you lose a lot of the benefits that you get with analysis services and it's making a copy inside of Power BI Desktop, and there's just a lot of badness there. So we want to choose Connect Live. This is going to go against analysis services. In the context that I'm doing this from Power BI Desktop, I'm using my Windows credential. So I'm signed into a domain, and it's going to use that Windows credential to connect to analysis services. Had I chosen Azure Analysis Services, it would use my Azure Active Directory login, which would need access to Azure Analysis Services. So just be aware of the authentication piece that's going on here. And obviously I'm gonna to need to have access to that database in order to read data from it. All right, so let's go ahead and hit okay. Helps to type in the server name, right? All right, so we get our list of databases that we want. I'm gonna pick Star Wars here. I'm gonna to go to model because Star Wars is awesome. And boom, we are now live connected to our Star Wars database sitting in an on-premises analysis services database. What's going on here? First couple of things you're gonna notice, over on the far left, I only see the report option. I don't have any modeling options and I don't have the model view, so I can't see like relationships and all of that. All I've got is my report canvas. Over on the right side, I do have my fields and tables and stuff that I've got access to that I can see from a report view perspective. So those are available. This is because all the modeling stuff will take place on analysis services itself. It doesn't happen inside of Power BI Desktop. All we've got in Power BI Desktop is just a connection string to go to that analysis services database. This will work against tabular or multidimensional. If you're using tabular because Power BI is built on analysis services tabular, I can actually optionally go and create what's called a report level measure inside of my report. And so if I go to modeling, I can do new measure. I can create a measure inside of Power BI Desktop. This measure goes with the report. It doesn't persist back to the actual model. So no one else will be able to share that. They can only use it in the context of this specific report. So if I had another report where I wanted to do that, I'd have to recreate that measure in that report as well. So that's something that you do have available when connecting live to analysis services. But in this case, we can go through and we can look at, let's go grab our starships just to show you. I can bring in, let's see, manufacturer, and then we can do ship. Yeah, and we can do things like a chart, and then we can do, uh, let's bring a name, value, and we'll do count. And you know, we can interact with this data. And as we're interacting with the data, it's actually sending those queries off to analysis services itself. So all the processing, all the heavy lifting, the querying, all of that happens in analysis services, not inside of Power BI Desktop. Pretty cool, right? And then we can go ahead and create our report like we normally would by dragging, dropping, slicing and dicing, and it'll work just great. Like a cooking show though, let's go over to a report that I've already got. And so we can see here, you can 
witness my amazing reporting skills and design capabilities, which are awesome. Not really. And so now I've got this report done. I've you know, connected to my data. I've got everything laid out the way I want. The next thing we're gonna have to do is publish this report to the Power BI service. So we'll go ahead and hit publish. And then I'm gonna choose my Star Wars group. So you can pick any workspace that you want. I've got a Star Wars app workspace. I'm gonna publish it there. It's publishing. And then we get an error. The error here is because it's an on-premises analysis services. And what it's telling me is that it couldn't detect a gateway available to use for this live connection. For an on-premises analysis services connection, a gateway is required. And so something's gotta be set up here. But that's okay, we'll go ahead and take care of that in the service. So it'll it still publish a report. And we can see that if we go to Power BI and we go to reports, we can see our Star Wars live report is there. And if I select it up top, it'll tell me there is no gateway to access the data source Star Wars. And if you go to show details, you will see further information. It basically says, hey, there's no gateway. We can't do anything. I do actually have a gateway installed in my on-premises environment. And so we'll go ahead and use that gateway. But if you don't have a gateway, you'll need to install one. You may not be able to install one. So there may be a, a chance that you have to go to your IT group or whoever is administering Power BI and get something available for you that you can use with your live report. Hopefully you do have access to that though. So in this case, I've got that gateway installed. I'm not gonna walk through installing that in this video. I've got a link to another video that'll go through how to work with gateways. So you can go check that out. But I'm gonna go up to the gear icon, come down to manage gateways. And my gateway, I've got my Contoso gateway here. We're gonna add a new data source. And that data source, you guessed it, is going to be analysis services. And so let's do say Star Wars Live, the server name and the database name here have to match what I used inside of Power BI Desktop. This is a simple string lookup, right? So they have to be identical. I can't use IP address here and name on Power BI Desktop. I have to use name in both or IP address in both, so on and so forth. So let's go do this. Same thing with the database. All right, I'm gonna have to enter in credentials here. So these credentials, because of the way live connections work, I have to enter a credential that is a server admin on the analysis services machine. So this is a server admin defined inside of the analysis services instance, not a machine admin for the computer it's installed on, but specifically a server admin with inside of analysis services itself. I'm gonna go and enter in my personal credential, but this could easily be like a service account or something of that nature. I don't recommend using your personal credential, but that's what I have in this case. And then I can go and hit add. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is whoever's publishing the report, they need to be in this user list. So make sure that they're defined here. In this case, it's just me, so we're good to go. To learn more about authentication with analysis services, I've got another video that talks about, up above, uh, that talks about how the actual analysis services authentication works and how we pass through the connection from Power BI or how we pass through the authentication from Power BI to analysis services. This is done by way of effective username. So I've got a whole whiteboarding session that goes through and shows you how to do that. So check that out if you're interested in that piece. I will also say that nine times out of 10, the hiccups that you run into are because of authentication. So definitely check out that video. So we've got our gateway set up now. Let's go back to our report. Now you may have to wait, it could be like up to 10 minutes for that to actually cycle through the system, things are cached. And so if you go back and do the report right away, it may not work. So just be patient, wait a few minutes, try it again. It should work after that. So let's see if we're good to go at this point. We are not. Uh, let's just go and refresh it and see if that kicks it into gear. And bam, after our patience has paid off, our report is now usable inside of the Power BI service. And so I can slice and dice like anything and everything works just as expected. Connecting through the gateway to my on-premises analysis services. Now I mentioned before about the difference between Azure Analysis Services and on-prem analysis services in terms of the connection type. The difference here has to do with the authentication. So SQL Server Analysis Services connections inside of Power BI Desktop, they're gonna go down the road of Windows authentication. For Azure Analysis Services, we go by way of your Azure AD credential or your Office 365 organizational authentication. So that's why you would pick one versus the other. It's all about how are we actually authenticating? And obviously if it's through Azure Analysis Services, you wanna go that way. 
While I did mention the authentication video to go check that out, one thing that's not covered in there is the updated way of mapping usernames from a gateway perspective using the local Active Directory as your lookup mechanism. So I have another video on that as well if that's something that you wanna take a look at. And then what about Azure VMs or just VMs in general? What happens if I install analysis services there? Maybe it's up in an Azure VM, so it's up in the cloud. How does that work? The thing to remember with virtual machines is that you're still installing analysis services on it, so it's still considered an on-prem server of some kind, even though it's up in the cloud technically. And so all the things that apply to on-prem data sources apply here. We still need a gateway and we need to make sure that that gateway has network connectivity to analysis services and all of those need to be domain joined as well. So however you go about doing that, you need to take care of it. So maybe it's express route, maybe you're doing some other things with you know peer-to-peer -peer networking. However you can get it domain joined is what you're gonna have to do. All right, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you using live connections? Are you having some struggles with getting this set up? Did this video help? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to continue the conversation there. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.